Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing from Hollywood Park on Thanksgiving Day, Thursday, November the 24th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle Southern California Racing Report. Let's take a look at the featured race 7 this afternoon, folks, 2.06 p.m. Pacific Post Time. This is the Hollywood Preview Stake, 7 furlongs on Hollywood's Cushion Dirt Track, Grade 3, 2-year-olds race for $100,000. Contenders number seven, Galix, number six, So Brilliant, number four, Empire Way, and number five, Hodge. Number seven, Galix has hit the board in three of his four career starts to date, including his main breaker in his first asking, comes off a power run place finish in his last start. Jockey Rafael Bejarano and trainer Jerry Hollendorf were sent to the post with the Thanksgiving feature today. They've whacked the tote board with 61% of their entries saddled as a team to date. Number six, so brilliant, who is the morning line favorite, comes off a power run win to break his maiden in his first asking. Jockey Martin Garcia was in his irons for that win 32 days ago at Santa Anita Park. He's back today for his second ride, gunning for back-to-back -back circle trips. Race 7 summary, number 7, Galix, tops the contenders list today, which also includes number 6, So Brilliant, number 4, Empire Way, and number 5, Hodge, 7, 6, 4, 5, and the 7 from Hollywood Park, the $100,000 grade 3, Hollywood preview stakes. Bonus long shots, fairgrounds, here at race 9, here in the $75,000 Thanksgiving stakes, number 8, Joe Hollywood, 4 to 1 shot, is at the board and power run four, fashion in 4 of his last adventures including back-to-back -back power run wins in his last two outings woodbine race course race number se seven number four hey better batter a four to one shot hit the board in power run fashion in four of his last five winning twice in this recent streak of racing consistency so from hollywood park on thanksgiving rick needham for the equibase winner circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head not over it